Hey y'all, it's Dukes, and this is Let's Play Satisfactory. Um, welcome back to the Pioneer Orientation and Optimization Program. Last episode, we completed all our Tier 4 milestones. Um, not only did we complete them, we played around with some of these parts. Uh, we have not set up any automation for any of these yet, uh, but that will come. Um, not right now, though. I'm in a little bit of a weird situation IRL because I have a bunch of free time uh, to record uh, let's play material, you know, voiceover type stuff. So I don't want to get started on making my like permanent polish starter base setup, which will include these parts. Um, because it basically means that I, it's, I don't need to voice any of that all that's just going to be it's going to take so long that i'm not going to record a let's play voiceover type situation with it instead what i'll do is i'll just sort of update you as i get through significant portions of that base but what that means is right now i have a ton of free time to do this, sit down and do these talk throughs so i'm kind of wanting to continue that at while i still have the time to do so um, that means I kind of want to push through the progression a little bit more so I can do more of this sort of sit down and talk with y'all type stuff. So we're going to push through the progression um, and I'm going a little bit faster. Normally about this point, right, I would stop what I'm doing. Um, I would stop the progression and I would start working on a polished, nice starter base. Um, I'd produce basically every part from here. I'd produce all these parts automatically um, at this one base. I'll have a nice setup. It'd be nice and polished. And it'd basically be something I'd sit on and would stay the same for the rest of the playthrough. But I'm not going to do that. Because um, like I said, I have a bunch of free time um, today. And I want to I wanna take advantage of that time and be able to get some of these talking bits done. And uh, so I'm going to do that. And I've already pre-set up the shortcut, my favorite type of a shortcut. Um, oh, I should let you know. Um, in between this episode and now, or this episode and last episode, I... Um, I'm I'm using up some of my uh, uh, stored iron plates and screws, sort of haphazardly making more reinforced plates because we're running low. And then also, uh, if you look at the power grid, you'll notice we have a little bit more power than we normally do. Um, I've added... Uh, several I've basically doubled the production um, of uh, power um, I didn't feel the need to show y'all because really um, the only thing uh, what changed and the reason we were able to do this is we got mark 2 miners and we have mark 3 belts so basically our throughput to get coal to the generators increased from 120 to 270 so all I did was add on some more coal generators and water extractors. So that's not really terribly interesting, uh, being that we've already explained what coal power is and how it works. So I, I did that without you. But what I want to show you today is this sweet shortcut i love this shortcut i used to i had a world back in the day where i would i would make all the high-end parts this way i would i would automatically produce basic parts i think even up to tier four and then i would just pick up and move stuff into crates and then i would shovel them into the uh excuse me shovel them into the machines i'm wondering is this the right amount did 500 I thought I needed um, I'm worried I don't have enough reinforced plates all of a sudden yeah I need a thousand it's one to one I'm gonna have to get some more reinforced iron plates that'll be okay um, 
what was the versatile framework numbers? I thought I did the math correct, uh, you know, and figured out how many parts I would need. Versatile framework? I need that. Oh, you know what they probably did? They changed the amounts on me because I did this calculation before I knew what the requirements were. Let's see how big of a difference this is. Smart plating, 100 automated wiring. Um, so, yeah, our automated wiring is going to be fine. It's this one that's going to be an issue. Um, I currently have... I'm short a good bit here. Ugh. That's not that big of a deal because the plan is I'm going to basically start these machines. And actually, I get to do this. We're gonna basically overclock these things so that, cause we don't have to worry about like staying true to these uh, amounts. Because we're just, it's, it's gonna fill as fast as the, it could take them, you know? Um, let's see, 75, so this belt actually can, I've been using these Mark III belts instead of Mark II cause I'm that, that low on on reinforced iron plates. Um, let's see here. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna link tie these up to the grid. And the plan. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this started. And what we'll do is we'll come back in when we have uh oh wait i think i did that wrong this needs to be free. um yeah i'll come back in once these are done uh in between now and then i'm gonna make sure i have enough parts in here for this and because i'm definitely going to be short on this side um on these two um i think uh, it's by half I need to get 500 more of each of those. And then this one, I had 3,000 steel beams. Uh, but I think I need uh, double that. I think I need to get 6,000. Holy cow. Um, we'll see. This one's fine, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll come back. We'll load up the space elevator and see what happens. Um, uh, yeah. So I'll see y'all in a bit. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. That took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but we've done it. We have all the space elevator parts we need for phase two project assembly. And let me tell you, I am pretty stinking excited about what we are going uh, to see because uh, the last one built that thing. Uh, so I'm very, very curious. Um, let me just put down a little something so I can empty my inventory out. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need all this. Get this out. Okay. Let's start with smart plates. Um, I think that can go. Smart plate, done. Versatile frames. These took a ton of steel beams. And lastly, automated wiring. This was surprisingly the easiest. We did it. All right, let's look. Phase two, construction dock. Oh wait, is it show? Oh, so will they, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love this animation so much. Oh. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 2 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 2 will be completed and the construction dock will be constructed. 
After completion of phase two, the technologies mm -hmm. of tiers five and six will become available in the hub. Man. These might feel intimidating after your previous experience, but rest assured that you would not be here if you were entirely incompetent. Entirely. Highlights are oil production, railway transportation, the jetpack, and many more. Completing phase three of project assembly is your next main Oof. objective. Just remember to focus on producing and delivering the project parts, and fix its faith in you will be strengthened. Yeah, th that next phase is no joke. Um, let's seal this. Let's send it up. I want to see. Let's see it. Oh, I should have done this in the daytime. You can barely see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Dude, that looks so cool. Oh, man, this is so cool. Dang it. What is that? Gosh, dude, I'm so, I love this new animation they got with this. I love seeing that structure up there. So good. Phase two of project assembly completed. You have been performing more adequately under pressure and are closer than ever to saving the day. Perhaps you were the right choice for the job. Perhaps. Time will tell. You will now enter phase three of project assembly. Continue as you are, and there should be no issue. For humanity, for fix it. No problem, Ada. I'm on it. Let's just take a little peek at what phase three is going to be. Look, you know how we just had to do a thousand versatile frames? Yeah. 2,500. And modular engines are no joke. Adaptive control units are insanely complicated. Oh, boy. Um, that's totally okay. Let's go and look at the milestones. That's what we're going to finish doing this episode. Um, we are going to unlock and uh, set up our initial oil setup. Okay, cool. Petroleum power. Mm -hmm. Packaging. I love packaging so much. Ooh, Mark IV conveyor belts. Good. Logistics. Oh, yeah, I just did that. Um, this is what we're looking at. We can finally get some oil going. And for the oil, we can start making a lot of new parts. And oil is actually the uh, sort of the next step in our power setup, too. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just chewing all this stuff up. I'm looking at, I think this one, I don't know. I didn't know, I didn't feel like there were five. I think that they put, last time, I think they had this milestone in with the logistics. Oh, a truck. Okay, cool. That's it. That's what we got here. Oh, the manufacturer. Yep, finally. Um, oh, yeah, these are, like I said, these are very complicated parts. Uh, train network. We are going to have a train network, a working train network. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so signaling is separate. Uh, I got off... Uh, I, I didn't play this update, so that'll be interesting. Um, and then blueprints. One thing that's... Um, uh, we get a... Basically, it's expanded. It's 5x5 five five now. Um... Before this, uh, I, one thing worth mentioning too is I think that these blueprints have to be different, but uh, I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, yeah, we're going to set up oil production. Let's go ahead and get this milestone ready. Uh, I have some more motors. Yeah. At least I thought I did. Am I tinking some motors? Is that what I'm about to do? I mean, how many do I need? I'll tink him. I'll tink him. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we that took a lot longer. The smart plating 
you know, it only crafts up at two a minute, and at overclocked, it's only five a minute. It's uh, it's not easy to do, or it takes a long time. So uh, that was a main issue. We also expanded our steel setup because it was just taking too long. I say expanded. I just, you know, we have 270 belts, so I just doubled what we had. Nothing special. I also kind of knew I already know what I'm doing with this guys I mean I played this game for a while um, so I've kind of prepared what I'm gonna where I'm going here so let's um, so you're gonna see some stuff uh, preparation um, let's see how much of this goes in bop, 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 bop. <laughs> bop. and then bop Nailed it. Milestone reached. Crude oil can now be extracted and refined to produce various industrially oh. beneficial parts. The byproducts of these processes will require careful management, but a capable pioneer such as yourself surely understands that. To improve efficiency, pipelines can now be optimized with valves to limit and balance their throughput. These were initially left out because Fixit did not want to overwhelm pioneers with complex pipeline management, but they have since been re-added after my impassioned defense of your capabilities. Yeah, I, I wouldn't... Uh, our capabilities for... Uh, I, I'll tell you this, the fluid dynamics in this game are hard to master. That is for sure. Um, we're going to need to... Oh, wow, we're going to need some motors. Mm -mm. Uh, let's grab that... I just want one for now. So, is that something I can craft relatively simply? Probably not. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, we will probably. Um, oh, I can make some staters. Uh, I'll tink some motors out and then uh, get back to you. All right, and then we'll head over and we'll figure out uh, our first oil setup. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. I learned my lesson. <laughs> that was so much tinking. Oh, it really is hard to stink and tink these later end game, like later game items. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I think this episode is gonna be the last before I start working on my base. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, so, um, I did do some planning here. Um, let's see. I've already set up some power lines between where the oil nodes are. And so we'll we'll uh, take them to the oil nodes and we can go ahead and get started on our simple oil production. But man, that was a lot of tinking. Goodness, I had to craft 75 motors by hand after crafting something like, you know, 120 staters. Like, it's goodness gracious. All right. So, as you can see, we've done a little bit of preparatory work. Um, I have a little bit of a platform here. Uh, we have an oil node over here I know about. So, let's go ahead pretty sure we should be okay with a lot of this stuff all right let's just do that that's oil all right um oil oil is a uh, liquid obviously it's going to flow exactly the same way that water does and so naturally you see it's got a pipe input this is a pure node and so it's going to give me 240 per minute that's pretty good um that means one of my Mark III pipes can handle it. We might even overclock it a teensy bit. Um, the other building we got is a refinery. Um, 
refines fluid and or solid parts into other parts and or fluid really um this is uh in my opinion this building right here is why i think that the once you get into tiers five and six or or yeah five and six the game becomes you you hit mid game everything up until this point i consider early game mostly because of the complexity of the materials and the items in the buildings is not that significant the most the most complex thing you're dealing with is an assembler and that's not a big deal but this is a whole nother monster um uh we'll do plastic first right um we got a lot of recipes here um fuel fuel i got a steam copper sheet alternate um i like that's a more efficient uh copper use but we're gonna make some plastic and rubber is really the main things we're trying to make here and this thing eats up 30 crude oil a minute and generates not only 20 plastic but 10 heavy oil residue and the heavy oil residue is kind of you uh, unique and it's new to inexperienced pioneers and that it's a byproduct meaning that it's a product you have to get rid of if this fluid backs up into this pipe and you don't properly get rid of it it's going to um, stop your machine from running so you no longer will get plastic so you have to f figure out how to deal with the heavy oil residue um, second you can't sink heavy oil residue the, I, the awesome sink does not have a liquid um, input, meaning there's no way to sink heavy oil residue. So we have to come up with the solution. Um, I put six here. Um, let's first, I want I wanted, we're gonna show you the two main recipes that we're really wanting to play with. Uh, did I get more copper pipes? I hope I did. There's valves. Um, this is supposed to shunt water into a specific flow direction. And you can manage how much flow rate goes. But I've not, I don't think that that, I, I've not found success using them. Um, let's put that there. And then we'll do a pipe. Okay, real simple. Okay, and this one's gonna make plastic. This one's gonna make, oop, not residual rubber. There's a lot of different recipes here. You might see residual rubber and ask why I'm not using that. That's because you'd have to take polymer resin and uh, combine it with water. And we don't have a way to make polymer resin right now. You can make it with fuel, but that takes oil and then you can, and then we'd have to do something with the fuel. So we're not quite ready for that. We're gonna focus on rubber and plastic for now. Uh, so let's get that rubber recipe. So this makes 20 heavy oil residue and this makes 10. So let's go back here. I think that there is, so because we're gonna be dealing with uh, some more heavy oil residue, I let's look at what eats heavy oil residue. This is a good one. So this will eat 40 heavy oil residue, turn it into petroleum coke. And petroleum coke, we can sink. Um, this is a fuel recipe using crude oil. This isn't gonna help us too much. Ooh, but we do have a residual fuel. That's pretty helpful. But then we'd have to figure out what to do with the fuel. Um, we could package it, but then I'd have to package. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see if we can make the residual fuel work. Um, let's see. We're going to make 10. Let's actually change this to plastic. So now we're going to make oh, uh, plastic. And then... Oh, I'm thinking, guys. Sorry. Um, so... If I, this will, so let's go ahead and do this, right? Um, 15, 15, 15. Man, I'm glad to be back in the game, guys. 
it's been uh we have we've really been chugging away but like it seriously it's felt like nothing for me i've enjoyed the heck out of this uh and i i can't wait to just completely waste all my time in this game all right so now our heavy ore residue which is gonna be that's 20 for that um 20 for that and then this is going to be 40 for that so that's 40 total uh i need to figure out so there we got oh i don't think we unlocked the package yet mm, so this ain't gonna be a great way to do this uh let's just stick with the petroleum coke for now uh this will have to suffice for now until we can figure out a way to get the packaging done yeah 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 okay so also um we're going to i think uh i think this is a good let's see if we do this this and then one more and we're gonna no we're gonna uh, i wanna i wanna there you go merch and then let's bring it this way and we'll do the same thing here and i actually want to bring it this way and i think that we can do this with the belt yeah and then get rid of that so we can get rid of this and it, you, here's the important thing here listen to the the ding hear that that means it's connected really really important sometimes it's not uh clear and so we can take this and go back down and what we'll do is we'll just go into a container for now okay so now that is our plastic and then i'm gonna actually do the same thing here because i'm definitely gonna have to get some pipes going um uh, this don't matter too much. So, boom, boom, and then boom, boom, and then... Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, we have a... <coughs> excuse me. We have a place to get rid of our heavy oil residue. And let's go ahead and put an awesome sink over here. Because, like I said... We want to sink um, this stuff. Um, I'm gonna put the that, and then let's bring this wire this way. Mm. I I believe this is the closest um, oil node uh, to where we are. I didn't do a scan, uh, so I apologize, but pretty sure this is the uh, closest one we got all right let's see this thing work now obviously we're gonna have a little bit of oh we're gonna have some room here uh, this thing is gonna be basically producing 240 uh, oil and we're really only using I think 100 uh, I mean we're only using 90 at the moment but that's on purpose so we can sort of get rid of our heavy oil residue. Um, very, uh, so let's look again. <clears throat> Obviously, this is going to look a lot like a uh, an assembler. Um, the only thing is you got to pay attention to this output. And we have to be sure that this is constantly draining. Uh, if this piles up, the rubber stops flowing and the whole production stops. So it's really important to understand how to deal with your byproducts. Um, luckily, heavy oil residue has a lot of good uses, and this is actually one of the worst uses for it. I'd rather, oh, 
Thank goodness I saw that. Um, uh, we will be making fuel with this heavy oil residue because um, we want uh, packaged fuel very, very badly. Um, oh, that's a little off. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. We're getting plastic. Man. Not bad. Uh, let's... Oh, uh, wait, I wonder, is this making... Oh, yeah, that's making... So we actually want to make this Mark II. There we go. Don't want to get clogged up in there. Okay. Got some rubber. I got some plastic. I'm curious of what the milestone requirements are. Hmm. I can make two more refineries. What was that recipe? It was for... Let's see. This is, uh, I think, going to be what we want to work on. 60 heavy oil residue. And right now we're making... 10 and 10 and 40. Uh, so 10, 10 and 20 is 40. Um, and so we can make 60. Uh, we need 60. So we could do another residual rubber. So that's... Uh, so if we do one more... One more rubber... Let's see. So whenever we expand it, we're going to expand this... So now we're going to have two sets of rubber here. Um, and this is a merge, right? Yeah. It should be a merger. No, dang it. A splitter. All right, can I... What is it? Um, control, shift, all... No. Oh, well. I'll have to fix that. Um, but we'll merge that, and so we'll double up our, our rubber. So that would be four refineries to a single refinery for fuel. So uh, how much oil does this take? 30? 30, 30, so 120. So we could do um, one, two, three, four, five. Five is uh, the next setup we're going to need. We'll get... Uh, yeah, I gotta figure out. I gotta. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to maybe speed craft some motors because uh, I really want to get the fuel started. Um, yeah, I don't think we have too much else here. Let's go ahead, fill our pockets, and then we'll go check out to see what the next milestones are gonna be. Ooh. This has been awesome. Okay. I love the oil production. It's like a lot, a little bit, just a bit more complicated. And it makes me, uh, I like, I like the, uh, problem solving you have to come up with and finding weight. Like you might, you know, you just want to make rubber or you just want to make plastic, but you then have to sort of figure out how to deal with the heavy oil residue. I like that sort of problem solving aspect. And adds just a little bit more complexity. Um, and let's take a look at. Actually, wanted to dump these in there. Um, let's see. I think I can do. Oh, let's see uh, what our production is here. Let's look. I think we're probably about done with this episode. What do we got for the next milestone? It's this one. 200. So I think we have that. But this is pretty sick. We get to uh, make empty canisters. It will be able to package the fuel, which is can be used for trucks. and can be used for trucks. It'll be used for your jetpack when we inevitably get there. So yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to end the episode, but I'm, I think I'm going to take some time and run over to the steel factory and see if I can't set up 
uh, super placeholder um, motor and stator production. So I'll be off. I'll work on that. Hopefully I won't have to teach so much in the next episode. Next episode, we definitely want to look at this and we want to get some uh, fluid, uh, fluid packaging done. We definitely want this right here. Um, fuel power. Yeah, this is all really cool stuff. We're not going to do too much fuel power yet. Um, the jetpack, we want the jetpack. Um, heck yeah, and three inventory slots. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of the Pioneer Orientation and Optimization Program. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you, Swab.